edge guard the side B and uh, just did it too slow. And here we go, the switch to Meta Knight. And we'll see if Foe's Meta Knight can have any more success here. SK is feeling real good. He just, you know, barely was able to win that. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of momentum right now. And he's off to a good start. And nice back air. And already 30 seconds into the match. You can tell by the way Foe is playing. Yeah, he's really upset he let that first set go. And he's kind of playing. It's like when you, know, when you lose a game, a set, you feel like you shouldn't have lost. Or a game, you know. You just, you just pretty, you pretty much just want to, you know, beat the crap out of whoever you're playing. You just kind of rush after him. You start playing, you start playing a little more, a little more reckless. That's kind of what's going on right now. And SK knows it and he's taking advantage of it. Both players at death percent, but SK with the stock lead. Nice up tilt. SK at 146, but his uh, KO moves are uh, kind of stale. It's probably going to be a little while for uh, for Foe died before he kills him again. Or Meta Knight loses the stock. So all the KO moves are fresh, but he's got his work cut out for him. Plays it saved, gets the grab. Up throw, it's not going to kill. It's probably, you know, 20% away. But he gets the edge grab anyway, so it ended up being a good decision. So Foe does work cut out for him, and he gets grabbed. And uh, SK messes up the boost pivot. So that's a real break for Foe right there. Could have been around, you know, 40, 50%. It says he's only at 9 and he's capitalizing on it, just kind of bring it slowly, methodically bring it back with some tornadoes. Bo oh, doing a real good job just methodically bringing it back and and that, uh, that mess up on the boost pivot grab uh, has turned out to be pretty costly. Gets the back hit of the down smash, and so Foe can still win this game. But uh, right now, SK looking real sharp. Up air is out of the jab. That was interesting. And you can tell Foe is kind of starting to feel it slip away a little bit. You know, you do, he's doing an attack and then the shielding, you know, just really doesn't want to get it. He's playing not to get hit. Good grab. He can still get this game. And the double shield. Both, both of them are smiling over that one. And there goes the stock. SK with the fist bump. SK can feel uh, this tournament right now. Both stretching. So he goes back to Ness.
Very even game right now. Maybe uh, the little break from Ness is what Fo needed. SK, you can just tell he's moving just a little quicker, a little faster. He's got that momentum from the last set, you know, and something to be said for that. So Fo needs to, you know, just just get just play, just get a lead, you know, do something. Now he gets confidence back. Weak hit of the up smash, so Fo doesn't die. <laughs> SK just runs up and out smash. That was kind of silly. So Fo at 167 again. Falco, you know, having trouble killing. Kind of hard to hit Ness. He just weaves around. I mean, you know, don't want to overcommit to the uh, the up smash. As you saw there, you know, he got it, he got grabbed. So back throw will likely kill. But the Falco salute and uh, Ness is out. The back throw and even evens it up, the equalizer. The two star game. A little over two minutes gone by in the match. Good double neutral air combo. And there goes Foe, got a little bit, bit of momentum now. If you can get this game even up 1-1, one, one, it just becomes the best of three. But, you know, first things first, has to take this game. And SK is showing no signs of letting up. Both players are really, really focused. They both really want to win this. Good back air. SK makes it back to the stage. The back throw kills. I have no idea why SK is not mashing out of those throws. Even when I played him, he, just, he wasn't mashing. Foe mashes really fast. That's something you gotta watch for playing him. You just gotta grab him and just throw him. See that? He got off like four pummels. And he's at 20. Nice punish on the neutral. Like power shielding of the running up smash. There's a grab. This could be bad. It's 57%, but it's made it back to the stage. So this is an okay position to be in, you know, it could be worse. But if SK takes this game, it's both going to find it real hard to come back. You know, he's going to have to win three straight games in order to win the tournament. Otherwise, that's it. Dead even right now. Bow up in the air in a bad position. Gets the backer. He has no double jump, so we're going to see how he handles this. Gets back to the stage. SK doesn't do much about it. SK just not mashing out of those grabs. That could prove to be deadly. Gets back air, and there goes game two. Bow still in it. It's 1 1. Pretty much a best of three set right now. Bow knows he's got a lot of work ahead of him. Wasn't, wasn't much of a reaction out of him. And we're going back to Smashville. SK knows he should have had that one. And he's locked back in, focused, and here we go, game three. Gets the grab, excellent grab.
And finally, Foa smashed the odds back on the stage, and SK suicides at zero. Probably tried to down smash, but he, uh, and buffered it fastball down or off stage. That was real unfortunate. However, still a very close game. Almost got that up smash. Bo has to take advantage of this. He's not going to get another gift like that for the rest of the set. Up smash trade, so... SK can still win this. You know, he's been playing real good. That was a real unfortunate suicide. Gets the grab right away, and this game is going to be right back to even. So Foe really not doing a lot with that. Uh... Wow, and he returns the favor, and Foe dies at 45. So despite dying at 0%, SK is now in the lead, and Foe just going in. Wow. Almost got something deadly looking right there. Good job on the grab, spiked, waited, and then air dodged in and grabbed. This game going by real quick, you know, people losing stocks real early, so not a lot of camping going on. Both players just, just kind of going in on each other. They're just. I think they're kind of tired of camping. This game's kind of gone weird as it is. Jab lock to forward smash. And there goes the stock. So Foe got to put something together here. Covers a little bit of health. So see if he can just methodically put something uh, together. He's able to do it with Meta Knight, you know, you saw he just kind of tornadoed and just got some, I uh, got that percent in, but you know. Now he's next, so we'll see what happens. Space in the forward air. Doing a good job of staying out of Falco's kill zone. That's the grab, so SK at 30. SK at 45 now. Oh, hit off stage. And he gets spiked. Game three goes to SK despite the 0% uh, suicide. And now it's Bo who's up against the ropes here. Going back to Smashville. It's, uh, this is set two. SK's up 2-1. Uh, uh, Foes, because SK just won game three. If SK wins this game, he is your Sin 2 winner. If Foe wins, we go to game five. Dead even right now. We are, we're in the, uh, the home stretch here of uh, singles. Everyone stick around because we have doubles coming up later. Me and Foe are teaming. SK Zero, uh, Brick and Z. Those are you know the highlights for the team for the teams that are here. Oh, Regional Z right next to me. Regional Rich Brown. We've been to party tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Z, and Z and I'm real excited. Z and I are gonna go be B21 in Vegas. Oh in Vegas. yeah. <laughs> This has been, have you watched this? It's been, I just played a doubles match. How's oh, it been going? It's, it's been really good. Um, Kyle won the last, he won the last, he suicided at zero on his first stock. Came back and won. Cause oh, wow. he, he gimped him at like 40, not even like a chain grab spike, he just gimped him at like 45. So right now it's a 2-1 SK92. Um, here, here's a microphone. Z here from Vegas Smash. Here to commentate and assist Rich Brown. On this uh, grand final set between SK92 and Foe. Uh, from what I've been told, this is the uh, second set. Game three? Well, uh, no, game four. Game four. Oh, game four, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Up. SK. SK's up 2-1 to one right now. And uh, Foe with a slight lead. There you go, SK92 bringing it right back. Foe's in the danger zone right now. SK92 holding up that number one. 
Right now in Vegas, actually, we have a split PR. Not a split PR, but a tie for first. SK and Fo have been going back and forth every tournament. And uh, the last ranking session, we established that, you know, basically spots 3 to 10 were solidified. But 1 and 2 were just a toss-up. SK winning the first tournament, Fo winning the next one. And we figured going down to E4J would be a great tiebreaker to see how we do comp uh, competing with SoCal. Unfortunately, both SK and Fo ended up getting ninth place. <laughs> so it kind of screwed me over for uh, deciding who's going to be first and second. I mean, they both play last game, last hit every time. So we put them as uh, basically a tie. So for the next session, this is going to weigh pretty heavily in case there's a tiebreaker. So what do you think so far, Rich, about uh, these two going head to head? Well, I've just been amazed at uh, you know Faux surviving what seems to be an impossible matchup. You know, one grab and he's dead. And we've seen it a number of times in the set. He has gotten grabbed, he gotten hit off stage, and then there goes the stock. And he's lost games that you know could have won otherwise. But um, the thing with Ness though is because he's got such great aerial mobility, it's kind of hard to actually get in and get that grab. And if he gets that stock lead, he can kind of play normal. Yeah, Faux's been um. He's always feared the Falco matchup. That's kind of why he does second Mennonite. Knight. A lot of people think he mains him. No, he seconds him primarily, actually only for really uh, Vegas players. Like, um, SK92 had figured his nest out, like you said. Oh, and Faux. Oh, nearly as ding. Good survival. Um, SK used to, like you said, just destroy Faux with that chain grab, and then he picked up Mennonite. Knight. But what happened is SK, being a smart player, figured out how to beat Faux's Mennonite. Knight. So now Faux had to counter him, trying to figure out what to do with his, with, you know, with his real main. Uh, one thing that Fo definitely told me is that um, neutral air plays a huge part in this matchup because uh, the one thing that a lot of Nesmanes agreed on was that Laser Laser uh, Phantasm would irritate the hell out of them. So what he decided to do was uh, neutral air because what happens is when any pretty much any frame of uh, Ness's neutral air beats Phantasm. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. So it's um it's a it's a, if you see Fo just jumping doing neutral air, it's not because you know he doesn't know what to do or it's an approach. It's because he's trying to bait uh, a, a a Phantasm. I see. Oh yeah, that's cool. So like if you notice, if you see SK run to the side and start lasering, Fo doesn't need to approach no more. He's just going to absorb him, and then every time uh, SK decides to phantasm, he'll just nair it. And then he can tech chase after that. Yeah, he's got a couple of those I've seen, actually. Like right there. Yeah. He anticipated a side because SK likes to just escape in a hard time. Like in a hard situation, he likes to just get out of there. Fo knowing this, throws out a neutral air, shuts down his uh, defensive game. And uh, Fo actually did go Meta Knight at game one because I uh, came... Because uh, set one, you know, it was such a struggle. Came down to last hit and uh, and SK won. So probably out of frustration, just wanted to mix it up. Lost and then barely won the next game. And takes this game. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a game five. Game five, sin three, grand finals. Here we go. Winner take all. Both and, these uh, guys, yeah. They Ky Kyle's got a smile on his face. Kyle looking happy. Fo looking a little bit distressed. Yeah. Here's the, here we go with the nerves. Look at they look at happy SK92 with his black music going on. SK is just yeah grand finals. SK has pretty much just been in a really good mood all day. Even like when we played, like both of our sets were just really laid back. Even in the most intense moments, we were because we we're kind of laughing. We've just been having fun, you know. It's just it's we're just playing video games, you know. So SK seems to be enjoying himself, but also remaining pretty focused. So here we go, Smashville, winner take all. It's definitely great to see like these guys competing. Uh, the Vegas team has been having a lot of issues with consistency as far as our players go. So it's great to see that our two top players are you know, still going at it. Uh, we'd like to, once again, thank you, Rich Brown, for coming down. Oh, it's helping us out because uh, even just you coming down here, playing some friendlies, helps our, uh, helps our community out. For Big sure. shout out to Mike Hayes, too, for hosting tournaments in SoCal, allowing us to come down there and get better. So uh, props to you, bro. All right, so Fo is uh, now outside of the chain grab percent. So I know he can start to go in, and you can see that like, after the chain grab is no longer an issue. Ness is actually, uh, well, at least Fo. Anyway, here we go with the jab block. Oh, wow, the jab block. Now Fo's going to, oh, he whips the forward smash. SK92 with good DI on that last jab. So Fo really needs to get that stock lead. Because pretty much what we've seen is whoever gets a stock lead is one. And even then, it's like, it's you know pretty difficult because the grab from, uh, from Falco can just bring it back. Yep. SK trying to get a. SK is kind of exhausting a lot of his kill moves now. I'm really not sure what he's got left besides maybe down smash and a forward smash. I'll smash the stale a little bit. Almost got him with that laser too, but uh, that's kind of a heavy character being able to survive a couple of smashes. That's Interesting a good guy. Back, uh, shield right there. Oh, there we go with that up air. SK actually taking the first stock. 79%, manageable percent for foe. 
Now you just gotta watch out for that grab because that's zero to fifty plus. Zero to death if he's not careful. But another, another solid hit or two, and then the. Uh, oh, there, there we it go. Is. Wow. Ness with that. Ness has a lot of kill power in all, a lot of his aerials. His up air and down air are pretty ridiculous. So, I mean, it looks like he may be out, you know, like with a forty percent disadvantage. But two hits and bam, he can bring it right back. Now, did you guys see uh, somebody that was interesting? He bowed short hop forward air into Falco and then just jumps away in neutral airs. And that to me is one of the most frustrating things, you know, he just goes in and forward airs, you feel like you want to do something, and he just kind of loops back around. It's kind of like an aggressive passive yeah. kind of approach. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, Foe prides himself on trying to be as frame perfect as he can, inspired by Mewtwo King. That's yeah. why he kind of like, that's just uh, one of his biggest inspirations. And then SK92 prides himself on being that flashy Falco. Oh, SK's reaction time is, it's, it's unreal how fast he can react to things. And I can tell he's reacting because it's just like, oh, wow. SK with a tech. He, they, these guys going balls deep right now. This is really, this is anyone's game That was right here. very risky by Kyle. I think he just got a big confidence boost. Yeah. Taking something like that may not seem like a big deal, but when you're in game five of grand finals, that makes all the difference. Absolutely. And now SK is probably about 10% away from, you know, 10, 15% away from backdoor KO percent. And for some reason, not mashing out of that, uh, that grab. And that's yep. going to come back to haunt him if he's not, not careful. Mashing out sometimes uh, causes bad DI. Yeah, see, if you, it, mashing out, it's, it's difficult because with Falco, he doesn't really have any uh, vertical recovery, especially against Ness. Uh -huh. There it Ness is. Last stock, up. last game. Zero, zero, let's go. Winner it takes first place. These guys both completely focused on the game right now. Trying to figure out a good way to approach. SK being a little bit more aggressive. Foe just trying to avoid that grab right now. Both playing really smart. Yeah, Foe does not want to oh. mess around at all with getting grabbed. Because if he gets grabbed, that's probably that's the tournament will end. Oh, SK, good read by Foe jumping out of that. A lot of people would just fall to the ground after double laser. All right, now he's at 50. Chain grab no longer an issue, so we can afford to play. SK, I think, is starting to see that Foe's going to become more aggressive, so he's not going to let up. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh SK going in with those back airs, racking up that percent. Four out 102, a slight danger percent. Alright, it's a good. Well there played we go. smash, we'll kill him now. Fo needs to put something together. SK going in, there's Fo with those neutral airs, just trying to disrupt SK's flow. Uh oh, oh, that's a lot of percent! 90%! Oh, bringing it right back, 90%! One more hit, and SK's at KO percent. Both playing extremely safe right now. SK trying to reset, Fo going in with a grab, trying to throw him off stage to get a little bit more percent. And you can see at this point, players, they, they play to not die more than to win. So you can see they're Very well a, little, played. A, little, a little more safe. You can see and you, the way they're spacing their attacks, they're doing it so if they mess up, you know, it's not, they can get away. Down SK there. with a good read. Oh! Oh, nearly, oh Fo with a back air! SK off stage. That's a neutral air. Fo's trying to throw him off stage with that neutral air, rack up that one, percent. One grab will, uh, will end this for Ness. But Ness is at 138, a well-placed uh, aerial. SK in a dangerous spot. Oh. Ness is aerials. A back Can he survive? Well, the back, they're doing it. Oh, oh, oh he's surviving. 125, this is anyone That's that neutral air. How is he going to recover? That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. Foe's standing up, putting both hands <laughs> in the air. Oh, hype. Foe's very hype. Foe is so hype right now. Congratulations to Foe. SK, SK me has a smile on his face. They're good sports. Close games all the way around. Foe's so Fo is very right excited. Now. He's on the ground, just... Foe is on the ground, just finally proving his dominance, won. winning, winning one of He's pretty much Vegas' biggest tournament, so our most oh hyped tournament. <laughs> I mean, maybe not that many SK, people, SK, but uh, SK's just sitting there there's a lot of pride on the line for this event. Fo, Fo, real happy. Hey, Freddy, come here. Hey, come here, come here, Freddy. Come here, Freddy. Oh, so shaky. <laughs> come here, Freddy. Oh, Freddy being very shaky right now. Oh, How do you feel? Yo, it was hot as hell. Like, <laughs> I'm sweating and shit. Oh, it was terrible. But, you know, he played his game, yo. Def by far, my toughest opponent in the Smash community. Fo barely able oh, to okay. keep his eyes open. His hand is on my shoulder. He's, like, resting on me right now. I can feel his whole body shaking just from his hand on my shoulder. Taking deep breaths. All right, come on. We got victory. doubles to win now, buddy. All right. <laughs> Congratulations to Fo and SK Natsu, right. proving why they're the yeah. top players in Vegas, putting on a great show for everyone. That was a hell of a set, guys. You guys just were that was some pretty entertaining smash right now. We had a Ness and versus Falco Grand Finals. That was one of the more entertaining sets I've seen. I've been around, you know, for a while now, so I really enjoyed that. Well, SK92 asking for all of these videos to be uploaded. He's all got a lot of pride. All these videos you know, to be uploaded. Just second place does not mean he lost. He put on a great show. Yeah, SK this could have gone either way. SK put up a hell of a fight. You know, the, 
Today, today is the first, marks the first time ever SK has beaten me. I was previously 3-0 against him, and he finally got me. So, you know, props to him. You know, he made it back to the losers, and uh, he put on a hell of a show for you guys. So, you know, tons of credit to him. He took it right down to the final hit. So we may not have the quantity of players, everyone, but uh, everyone stick around. We got doubles coming up. That's gonna be high. Doubles gonna be very high. We have uh, feature teams like Rich Brown.